What's up, locas? It's Loka back here with another video. Today, we are going to do this look. Y'all wanted me to do this look again. You guys seen it on my um, Snapchat, and you guys are just like, yo, you need to do this again. I also did another YouTube video before this one. If you didn't see it, I will put it in the description right there, right there. And you can click on it, and I have this eyeshadow, and they're like, you guys, you know, you need to... You need to do a YouTube video on that look. So I did it. So if you want to know. Also, I'm going to be showing you how I straighten my hair. And what um, straightener I used. It's a new one. It's fucking bomb as hell. Really need to go see it. Stay tuned to the end of the video. But um, without further ado, let's get right into it. Because no girl got time to be waiting. Okay, so you know your girl already did her brows because nobody got time to be doing that on camera. And this is the concealer I've been using, you guys. It is full fucking coverage. Like, it's probably one of the best concealers that are in, that's in stock in the drugstore right now. Like, no lie. So now we're going to go on with the Jaclyn Hill palette, dude. I've This is probably one of my first name brand palettes I've gotten. And we're going to be using that Cream Silk shade. I know that fucking color by heart because obviously you can see by the canvas it's almost done. Like, it, this is the best, the best transition shade to use with probably any color. Any. Then we're going to go in with our James Charles palette. And, you know, your girl's going to be using be using that color T. And it's just a darker brown. And we're going to put that, like, right in the center of the crease and bold that lid out. You don't want to go above the transition shade. Just put that on that crease, girl. And everything is going to come together, I promise you. Now I'm going to grab this wipey and I'm going to take the axis off the part where I'm going to cut my crease. Ever since I did this technique, dude, my cut crease has not been clumpy with the colors. Like, you guys have no idea. And I'm going to go back in with that same concealer and I'm going to cut that crease. Um, I'm going to do it like halfway to the lid. And after we're done with that, we're going to go back in with our James Charles palette. And we're going to go in with the color Flashback, that big old white right there. And we're going to pat that on our lid. You don't want to swipe it. You want to pat it. Because for some reason, this white will kind of mess the lid up a little bit and look a little powdery. But you know. We're also going to go back in with the colors T. And then we're going to go in with this black called Spooky from the palette. And we're going to go in the out of corner of our lid. Just move that color towards the middle of the eye. Making sure that line, that harsh lines out. And as you can see, where I am working my way right now is kind of lighter than the black. And I am just going to go back in with a light brown. So it has like that ombre effect to it. If that makes any sense, you guys can see. And then we're going to go in with this eyeliner. I'm going to make a wing eyeliner real quick. You guys all know the eyeliner that I use. I've been using this eyeliner for so long. I've probably had it for a year already and I still have more. Like, that's crazy. Now we're going to be taking our white eyeliner, you guys. I got this liner from, like, eBay. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on um, AliExpress. Like, you can literally find this liner anywhere. Now I am doing my best, keeping a steady hand, to put this white over the black liner. Now this made the whole look. It legit made the whole look. And I'm going to pop on some lashes that I got from my Glam Lashes. You guys know they are one of my favorite lash companies to buy, to get, and to sponsor. Like, I love them. And I'm going to be using this primer that I got off the Clarence because your girl's cheap. And you guys, don't buy anything from Clarence because I'm breaking out. And I'm using these two foundations as a combo. And I do use them together. They are the best combination foundations to wear full coverage and a very nice dewy finish. Like, you don't get cracks. You don't get too matte. Like, it's it's just perfect. Like, perfect. Perfect is better. You already know. <laughs> but after we're done with our foundation, I'm going to go in with my Beverly Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Palette. And I'm going to go in the shade Chocolate. 
and we're just going to carve our face out pat that shit we're gonna get this blend on you already know how loca is make sure you blend 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 you don't want no harsh lines because then you're gonna look like which is you white or is you dark like let me know for my concealer i'm gonna be using these both concealers now the one on the left you guys i is the first concealer i've always used since i was little the one on the right is the one that's full coverage that i'm loving so much but one is lighter than the other and your girl be looking like a raccoon sometimes like you know it's just way too light so i just kind of mix them two and it makes the best combo um i just I, I love these foundations and concealers like they're cheap as hell you can get them from walmart and you're still gonna be looking bomb like a thousand bucks walking down the street period like period now for the face loose powder that i'm gonna use is derma blend you guys i fucking love this powder i love it no flashback no color no nothing like it leaves your face like butter like it leaves your face looking so fucking flawless you guys i definitely recommend it it is more in the expensive price well for me it is because who gonna pay 30 bucks for a transition i mean for a powder but you know so after we did our bronzer and everything you guys already know what type of bronzer i use but we're going to do our highlight you guys i do the bridge of my nose and i also do the tip of my nose um we gotta blind these niggas you already know then i do the above my lips so when i do put lipstick on that should be looking cute in every direction and every look i use the same lippy i'm not going to lie but dude this color is one of my favorite colors it's like it's kind of like not a red but it's not a net neutral it's kind of in between i don't know but this look like something about this look We're gonna review this fucking straighten that I got in the mail. This is how it looks on the website. Um, I liked it because it was the only blue one. It was kind of like, it's kind of like a blue type of like aqua color. But it was most of their expensive one and I wanted something expensive because like, why not? So we are, I'm going to show you guys how it works and I'm going to show you guys, let's see how it works on my hair because I haven't used it yet. Um kind of wanting a new straightener so here's the packaging it is from beauty rock beauty rock get yours i'm pretty sure pretty sure i said that right so when you open it you just slide it up there's the directions you got di the directions and then you have a, this little things to put your straightener in i'm pretty sure and then here's the straightener so you can see it's black and then the plug okay so here's the straightener this is how it looks let's do it this way this is how it looks it says beauty rock and then it has the temperatures right here it has a 250 a 300 a 355 410 and 450 fahrenheit and then um on the bottom it has a lock so you can twist so it's locked right now so you twist the bottom and now it's unlocked so i thought that was pretty cool um let's warm it up let's see how this works while it's warming up, we'll read the directions, see if there's any like special thing to do with it or anything. Um, the, oh see, okay. As soon as I plugged it in, that's cute. I just plugged it in, that was cute, okay. So inside here is the on button, so I'm just gonna press it. And I like it very hot and I like my hair really straight, so I'm gonna go on its highest setting. Okay, and it's beeping. Let's see what that means. 
auto shut off. It has auto shut off. Cool. And then start up. Plug the strainer into the socket correctly. Unlock the iron plates by rotating the locking bottom near the core swove. Swove. I'm, I'm pretty sure I did not say that right. Three. Press the switch button for about two seconds and then the control palette will light up as it did. For press the switch button to choose which between which Fahrenheit is best based on your hair type. Five, wait for the iron to heat up, which takes about 30 seconds for optimum styling temperature. Allow iron to heat for two to three minutes for using. I'm pretty sure it we took a while already to it, it's heat up already so let's just gonna see how it goes there's nothing really like new about the straightener it's just a straightener so let's see how this turns out i do not have any hair products put in my hair before i strain it which you guys should so you don't damage your hair and you guys this straightener is very light to the hand like it's not it's very light like light-handed i can't explain it if you guys get what i'm trying to say that was cute okay so now we're gonna straighten a couple of the rest let's just straighten one side um okay so how this straightener is working so far i really like it. it's very light-handed it's not heavy so your hand's not gonna get tired um i love the colors i love that it's simple like i don't know if you guys seen my last um how do you say it my last review i um i hated that curling iron it was so like hard to use but this one you know it's just a straightener also this straightener can curl your hair um that's why it's very round i don't know if you can tell but it also can curl your hair um i'm not going to try because once i curl my hair it's going to stay curled and you guys this straightener is working pretty good like Huh. I found a new straightener on my mind. And I'm very picky with my straighteners because sometimes straighteners don't work the way I want them to work or don't straighten the, the way I want them to straighten. Like, if you guys like your hair straight, you guys will know the struggle. You guys know the struggle I'm talking about. You guys, look at this. And my hair feels like good for some reason. Like if I put product in it, like it's very smooth. I like it. Like I'm excited. E. So we're going to fast forward and strain the other part, the other side. So this is the finished look it came out really nice really straightened i really love this fucking straightener i'm going to be using it all the time you're probably going to see in all my videos um it's because i needed a new straightener anyways the other one was really burning my hair and i feel this one's really just this one feels so nice on the hair too like after i feel like i put product on there but um if you guys like this tutorial make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to get all the notifications every time i post a video so you do not miss out on no lit as video i'm going to start doing more videos i say that every time i make a youtube video and i ain't lying 
I really hoped you liked it. Of course you guys did. Some of you guys told me to reenact this fucking look. So, I love you. Stay tuned to my next.